Okay, let's see if the tractor is going to start. It should. And if it does, then I can put the jumpers away. Now, what I want to do is get this piece of rubber, rubber, and uh, kind of slide it in here a little bit. Oh, let me get this off here first. one for a minute. Gotta get this tightened. Alright. Huh. We're getting there. Let me move this line out of the way. All right, now I'm going to be hopefully trying to work this real slow. I got to bring it up a little bit so I get that wood out of there.
So, if the straps hold up, which I'm thinking they will, uh, this pole is going to bend a little bit. And when it does, it's going to go like this up here. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to put all that extra support, because I was concerned about it uh, snapping and, and breaking and whatever else. This will come undone once I undo the line, the line down there, and it's and it's only wrapped around here so it'll come right off and that's kind of helping with this okay so that's kind of holding this up um, this is holding that uh, so when I start bringing this up that should fall and we'll see now I gotta bring it up as slow as I can without any jerks and I gotta do that before I even think about going forward so in order to bring that up, I have to bring this down. And if you can see it or not, I don't know, but I'm tilting the bucket. Okay. We are off the ground. And I have a little bit of a bend, so we're going to see what happens. Alright, I'm going to uh, get this up, by the way, hold on. Uh, okay, that's done. Now, I don't see a reason for having this here right now. Other than possibly, you know what, it may. No, you know what, I'll leave it right here for now, right above the radar arch. Just in case, I got to set it down a little bit. All right, right in the middle of bringing this, or not right in the middle, but making the moves. I got this free hanging right now pole has a little bend. I'm hoping that will straighten it out. It's been sitting here because I had to change the battery. I do have to move forward more though. I'm doing it by hand. Alright, let's see where we are. No, not yet. Then I'm going to try to get it over here as well. A little bit more. Because i got to watch this. I got to make sure, yeah that should do it, I got to make sure when I start bringing it up that before I hit that wire, I'm above these wires. So that's what we're looking to do at this point. So let's bring this down a little bit. Bring this up. If I get above those wires, I'm happy. Look. Okay. Now I gotta tilt the bucket. Whoop, that's what I'm afraid of, all that rocking and rolling at this point. Whoop, okay, now I should be able to look back. And again, I'm out on the sea. I'm working it by hand. It's 
nice to have the ability to do this. Not all tractors will let you do this. Above it. Well, we'll see what happens here. I think I'm right at the line. Oh, I'm gonna come forward a little bit. Okay. Now let's tilt the bucket a little bit more. Now let's back it up a little bit. Make sure we're not on any wires or anything. Well, we have one here caught in the chain. And under the wheel. Alright. Uh, okay, I can go backwards more. Now, if I hadn't did all this reinforcement, we wouldn't have made it this far. Okay, I want to make sure that that's far away from that. Okay, so now, I should be able to get on the tractor and just pay attention to what I'm doing in the front. <laughs> that wire up there. I gotta bring it up and forward. Up and forward. And all this jarring would definitely have bent that pipe and that antenna off the end. I'm really happy that it's holding up so far. Once I get it Thing is not to rush it. Okay, let me back up a little bit. start moving this way. There's a pole right there and I'm going to try to get this on. on the pole. Good. Alright. Now, I want to try to have that get it attached so I can start to disconnect it. So, how are we going to do this? I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. Well, I'm going to go up here and go through and see what I'm Thank you. 
Alright, wow, we got most of that weight off of it, but the antenna connection is kind of high. Uh, yeah, it's up there, see it? So that's probably, oh. That's high. Uh, so we're going to have a little bit of a problem with getting the wire on that, but I'm not taking it down again. So what I'm going to try to do now This antenna has to go up to that one. on the ladder holding the pole and my pants fall down and I won't be able to let go of the pole what's more important my dignity or the pole the pole
strapped in. It's on the peg down here. Let's get all this crap off here. Hopefully. And I'm thinking there should be enough to unloosen these things. I should be able to back up. There we go, guys. If that support that I put up there and welded on is going to work or not. Okay, let me get the uh, the uh, well, probably can just do this. I'm thinking anyway. I'm hoping. pieces of uh, wire down here, just kind of keeping this thing from scooping around on the bottom too much. Yeah, so what I had done was by putting this on here, I put this into the wood here and the pole more or less rested right in there for me and then uh, I strapped it on the top I put holes in the bottom of the wood just to get through there just to keep it from sliding back and forth this is kind of a, a who did it and ran and then I put two screws in just to stop it from sliding up and down and uh, it seems to have done it now uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to just pull this off or not, but we'll see. Let's get these wires on wrapped. I'm sure we'll just lift this stuff. I'm thinking anyway. I'm thinking. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. I got one more up here. What about you? Yeah. There. I'll disassemble all that later at another time. So I'm going to lay out a couple I'm going to leave the straps on the ground. I'm going to move the tractor. Now, the only thing is, I'm trying to get up there. Uh, and if I have to, I can drill a couple holes through the pipe and put a couple of rebars through it so I can use it like a ladder. And I can just climb up it, I guess. Let's get all these out of the way. 
Now those wires that are right there with the orange strap, that strap is going to hold them up and then the cordage that I was using to hold the pole, I'll go onto one of those clamps and I'll use that to tie to the pole uh, so these wires coming down the pole aren't just dangling and we should be okay. Now this wire, the red one here, the red tape, is the one that's going to be hopefully going up to there. And I don't know, it's going to be close. But the hardest part, in my opinion, in my opinion, is over. So I'm going to start putting things away here. I'm going to leave those out for now. I'm not going to go nuts with them. Let me get the tape. I am going to have to come out here and put this. Uh, that's all right. If it goes down, it goes down. Them anymore. All right. I am not going to pick any of this up. Screw it. I'll do it tomorrow. I will to get the wire up though, because I don't want the boys to get stuck on the wire. And look, just in case, if there's anything here that they can get hurt on. I don't think there's anything there. This was the main concern. Now we're just going to hang that right here. There. Uh, this is okay like it is. I can put that back over there. I can bring these back in. For now. For now. Uh, let me put them up here. All right, so let's get this tractor uh, kind of up. Oh, you know what I got to do? I got to put the other antenna up, too. So let's get the tractor started. So hold on a minute. Because I want to put the, uh, the backhoe down. Down with the hoe. Up with the bucket. More down with the hoe. Should have put the arm up first. Alright, so now, let me get my reinforcer. So like I said earlier, As the bucket will. That's why when I had everything on it, I had to keep a piece of wood under the bucket. <sighs> we got that done. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I know. Oh. You had to keep looking. Oh, ducking. One of those things sticking out. Oh. All right, okay, I'll move these real quick because I want to put this back up. Come on, chubby buddy, let's go. All right, so now we should pull this antenna back up. Let me go over here, get this over here. Okay, I want to make sure there's nothing here that's going to get hung up on, but you shouldn't. Okay, I'll go down to the side of the house. Oh, I forgot to put a pulley up there. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, screw it. You know, if I was still with the... Fire trees and probably could have had the ladder truck come over. <laughs> I'm 
put me up there so I could put the connection on it. We went, every time I go to do this, uh, we went to, uh, where the hell we go? Went to Plymouth, Massachusetts to look at the little rock down in the water. Um, but anyway, uh, we went to Plymouth, we went by boat. And there was another couple that went with us. The other couple, uh, they weren't boaters at all. Uh, you know, they knew how to put it in gear. He had a pretty good idea how to, you know, dock it. But he really didn't know too much about boating. So coming back, we were going to stay in uh, Point Judith for the night. Now we could have made it back because we were in Point Judith about three o'clock in the afternoon and from Point Judith to back to Brantford, a couple hours, you know. But, um, you know, he was tired, she was tired. I don't mind, you know, so we docked for the night. The next morning, uh, we're getting ready to go, and he jumps in the boat, and he's afraid the boat's going to run away from him. You know, when he's untying the, the boat from the dock. Uh, you know, and if the wind's blowing away from the dock, yeah, it could take you away. But, you know, that's why he's got his wife there. But neither one of them really knew anything because there's ways around that, you know. So my wife said, I'll untie it. So they get on the boat and she undoes the front. She comes to the back. Now you gotta remember, he's got one of those twists on it, so it's got like a little lock, like I just did here. Um, and as soon as she gets to the back and she bends down, he puts the boat in gear and puts pressure on the line. And now he's just making that little knot, that's really not a knot, but he's making it tight to where you can't get it undone. You know, because he's afraid that the boat's gonna float away. <laughs> Yeah. So, you know, finally, you know, I told him, you know, stop, put the boat in neutral for crying out loud, you know, so that Darlene was able to untie the line from the dock. So, you know, I understand sometimes you think it's going to float away and you rush and you rush, you know, but, uh, you know, sometimes you don't think straight when you're doing that kind of stuff. So pay attention. Watch the wind. Does it have to be? You know, how else would I do this? You know, uh, you know, do I have to undo the back or should I do the front uh, last and do the back first? Okay, it's up. All the antennas are back in business. Okay, let me move the tractor. Uh, you know what, I wanna turn this a little bit. So let me do that before I move the tractor. Hey, Nick. How you doing, Nick? How's my boy? Ah, how's my nose? Mm, my nose bump? Okay. Yeah. Your daddy's big boy. Your daddy's pal. Oh. <laughs> Man, are you allergic to my cologne? Are you allergic to my cologne? Yeah. Hey, Jim. How you doing? Oh, you got a ball? Yeah. Hey, bud. Yeah. Hey, bud. He has a funny walk. He, he chugs along. Yeah. Like a little, like a truck. Uh, I'm going to leave most of this out. If you just want to push it aside, that's up to you. But I'm not going to do anything else except...
unless uh, the only thing I'm going to do right now is just kind of twist this, uh, mix this pile up a little bit, and then I'm going to start shutting down. I don't know. The seed, maybe. Huh? No. No. Whole oh yeah, because it was rotted. And she saw it. She thought it was a ball, so she took it. Oh. <laughs> Well, it wasn't going to hurt her. Huh? But it wasn't going to hurt her. No. Hey, bud! Yeah. Hey, Nick!